There's my Hobie. And there he is. It's time to go. Strap these babies down and let's take off. Oh, and a uh, shout out to Kent for letting us borrow his uh, Mirage Drive yesterday, too. Thanks. Back up. <laughs> Kent, uh, he works with uh, Red Button Marina, so Red Bud Marina, so give him a shout out if you guys uh, are in the Ulga area. Let's go check out Red Bud. And this is what the loadout looks like. So guys, it's Connery from Out of Work Outdoors. Uh, today we're taking you guys on the tournament trail. Uh, it's our first opener on Lake Kanawa. Uh, just barely got the kayaks, uh, all the trailers strapped down, everything's pretty much ready to go. Waiting for a hybrid killer to come out of the house. And uh, yeah, we'll take you guys out, kind of show you the tournament format. Uh, there was one quick change yesterday on Facebook. This tournament is normally a, uh, a shotgun takeoff. What that means is uh, everybody gets together and then tournament director says, all right, take off or just come back by 1230 or something like that. And everybody sh uh, takes off from the same spot. But due to the wind conditions, it's blowing about, it's sustained about 10 and it's going to get worse. Uh, right around lunchtime, it's going to be about 15 with gusts up to 25, 30. So, for a kayak, that's a pretty big deal. It's pretty, it can get dangerous. For a big boat, it's still pretty dangerous. So, that's what they've done. They've allowed us to do a road runner, which on this lake has three boat ramps, and you can uh, launch for any one that you want. But you still got to go check in, and you still got to come back to uh, the same uh, spot that everybody else has to. Everybody else has to check in at too. So. That's the update from last night. I got about four hours of sleep. I should be good on that, and uh, we'll see how the, this uh, day turns out. All right, let me show you guys the rigs. Well, we got good light here. Here they are, all complete. Always gotta do a gas trip in the morning, even though you're on kayaks. Uh, but the cool thing is, on the Civic, gas ain't that bad. Check out this gas price right here: sixteen dollars for ninety-one. So I can't complain. It's pretty good. Good on gas. Although I'll probably burn that up pretty quickly today.
water. I'm doing good. Ten minutes in. Fishing started at uh, six thirty, and I'm on. I guessed right. It was a drug bait bite. Guess we'll see what I got. I think I got big bass with the tournament. Shh, don't tell nobody, dog. Don't, don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody. Damn. Big bass. This is easily a 20 right there. Yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Let's go, uh, let's go find a spot that we could, uh, you know, take a good measurement of this guy. Let him go. And, uh, Let's uh, let's do this again. Dang, y'all see this? I mean, this ain't official, but it's pushing 22. <laughs> shaking, dude. I'm shaking. Shaking. Florida strain. It's nice and cloudy out. Should be doing good today. Let me snap some pictures for you. She measures out exactly 22. We'll let her go. It's a giant. It's a giant. I'm telling you, it's a giant. It's crazy how big this fish is. It's a dank, but we'll make it work. All right, oh shit, you just you draw like that? Fish is blitzing, we gotta go, we gotta go. Let this guy go. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, you want a picture? Now's the time to get a picture. <laughs> it's a giant bass, 20, Exactly 24 and a quarter. It's touching 24 and a quarter on the lower tip. Or you can even say 24, but that's huge. That's a giant identifier right there. All right. Had him on the head so, times in third place, we out. actually had a tie for third place. Randall Fernley Jr. and Brent Wilson had 74 inches both. Man. The tiebreaker is their big fish. Big fish was caught by none other than Brent the Ginger Wilson. <laughs> third place. How much you get? 72. Oh, here. So, so oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we got four fish. If I had another one, it'd be like Congratulations. 84. And you get a uh, fancy... Like, oh, What's up, boo? And from What's up, Cabela's? bro? Videotaping. I think we're nice. a big bass. Nice. Those are nice. Especially when it's 150 degrees in. <laughs> Second place? I know. It's easy. Second place with a total of 76 and three quarters inches, Landon Johnson. Landon. <laughs> and from Cabell's as well, two new rods. Very nice. Trip that kid, partly grab him. We'll split him on a piece. All right. First prize with a total of 77 inches. <laughs> Randall Farley Senior. <laughs> and you also get the big behemoth. That is twenty-four. <laughs> Polar cap. Polar cap. Polar cap. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Now, for the big bass. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> Don't buy the cheap stuff either. We'll be watching. Big bass. Calm. See. Hey, we say more. This guy catches the fish. It was 24. Oh, I'm sorry. 24 inches. Big bass paid out $600. Nice. Dinner's on call. <laughs> check it out, check it out. We just cleaned up the tournament. Oh, yeah. We almost did. I lost a big fish. Otherwise, I would have cleaned it. Uh, tell you guys what happened. Uh, I got on a big bite, big bass Wait, bite. Yeah, that way. Big bass bite. I was cranking a 5X deep in like 15 feet of water over these rocks. And every bite that came on it was giant, okay? So, I'll tell you how my day went. Uh, started off with a jerk bait, caught a 22 inch right off the bat. Well, not right off the bat, but like, you know, 15 minutes in, caught a 22. And then um, the wind was crazy today, too. The wind was like 20 miles an hour. So, I drifted out, repositioned, fired again, caught a 10 and a half, which is alright for our tournaments. And then um, uh, repositioned again, jerk bait didn't work, so I brought out the 5XD. I was cranking this deep ledge. Well, a deep ledge, deep kind of long point. Boom, I get one of the hit. It was big. I knew it was big. I wasn't sure it was a bass or not. It felt like it felt like a it felt like a giant catfish, you know? So I, I broke it off and I was like, damn, well it got me snagged up in some rocks and broke me off. Uh, I wanted to do a 12 pound floor carbon, so we deep cranking, you gotta do that. So I reposition with another crankbait. I fire up like maybe three times. Boom, I get a 24 inch. I see it, it sees me. I put it in the boat, put on a scale, 24, let it go. And then line up and give the spot, I fire again, I get like a 16. So it's like, that's awesome. You know, an hour and a half into the game, already looking real good. And I was like, all right, I still got like four hours basically to catch one, like one small fish. The one 10 inch fish. It did not catch that fish. I don't know what happened to the fish. Y'all just turned off. I couldn't catch him. And uh, ended up maybe like fifth place. But I did with the big bass. The 24 inch large mouth. I'll show you the picture here. Um, paid out 600 bucks. So it was, uh, it was pretty good. And for hybrid killer. He didn't do so good today. I caught three. Back to back, got GoPro fishing footage. We'll, we'll slide the GoPro footage here. But one of my fish got <clears throat> marked one inch off because the mouth was open. Clearly, the mouth was not open. <laughs> Can't it is do it is. much when you're not the judge. But it's, it's all right. It's all right. It's a learning experience. Inch? Inch is a lot. A lot it's of tournaments have lost by an inch. So to give you guys an idea of where I stacked. Four fish, I had 72, two five, all right? The winner was 78? 77. 77, okay. So if I had landed the other one that broke off, easily, my estimation would've been other 20. So would've been 92. Or if I would've just caught another qualifying fish, 10 inches, would've bumped into 82, so. I just could like live it out. If I lived it out, we would have taken home big bass and we would have taken home first place. But hey, you live and you learn. The people that won are pretty cool too. So uh, we actually call them. So it's pretty cool. Uh, all right. So uh, if you guys like this type of footage, let us know. And we'll be uh, continuing to bring you more tournament stuff as we go to them. And this year, we're pretty much scheduled for at least, uh, at least 10 of them. So... That's a lot of stuff we will be doing and we'll be bringing it to you guys, right? See you next time. Peace.